Well, Coach, as you look ahead to this year, uh, Schrader's gone, one of the great, great players that you've had over the last few years, uh, and you, you just kind of reload. How do you do it? Well, I think that, honestly, it starts in the lower levels, starting in middle school, and then putting a real emphasis in the JV level on not just how to play, but how to pull yourself through in situations that become a little scary. Um, so we, we do, we put an emphasis on making sure that everybody who's out gets that chance to learn how to play the game in JV. And then once their spot gets opened up in varsity, they're ready to take it. You know, as you look ahead to your schedule, you're in the course of the Western Kansas Liberty League, but you start off really with a pretty formidable triangular uh, every year. And uh, I think you're playing at home this year with Hoxie and Oberlin. Uh, does, you like that type of setup to get you going? I love that triangular. Uh, it really is a good way to get a gauge of where we're at and what we need to work on for the rest of the season. And, and knowing that Hoxie just came off of a runner-up finish at state, um, they still have a lot of really good athletes coming back. I'm really excited to get on the floor and just see what we're going to look like because, you know, as you said, we lost a couple seniors that had been a big part of our team for four years. So now we got to we get to kind of reinvent ourselves and get a new identity. And I think it's going to be fun to watch how it develops. How many kids you expect? 20. We have 20 coming out this year. So what about the league, the WKLL? Um, how do you see the league? Uh, talk about some of the other teams that you think will be formidable opponents for you. I'm anxious to see what Shylin looks like. Uh, they had a lot of really young, talented kids that were freshmen last year. Um, so they're going to start moving up into the older levels, and I'm, I'm anxious to see how they develop. They're going to be strong. Um, and I, I do think that Golden Plains is going to continue to put together a pretty strong team. They've got a lot of good athletes coming up from junior high. So um, I think that our, our league is going to be pretty balanced again, like it usually is. And your tournament, the Gove County Classic, is, uh, I think, one of the premier tournaments throughout the season. Um, you got a Cimarron team that's coming in here and, and uh, the other team. Talk about that tournament because it's uh, one of the, what I would say, rich tournaments. Holy cow. Yeah, that tournament is, it's definitely one of my favorite days. Um, we've got St. Francis coming back in. Quinter's going to be strong again. Um, so... Honestly, it's anybody's guess who's going to come out of that tournament. Um, and I love that we play it out. So no matter what, everybody gets five games. It's a full day. But um, for being an, in, an early tournament, I think that it's super helpful for everybody that comes. And like you said, it's so competitive. Like when we're trying to figure out what pools, how they should be put together, it's, it's one of the most impossible tasks ever because we just, you know, trying to make sure that everything is balanced. It's so hard because there are so many good teams in that tournament. Your leader for this year, or leaders, who are they? We've got uh, three seniors coming in that played quite a bit of varsity last year. So Emily Heyer uh, is going to set for us. She's been setting for us for a few years now. Jocelyn Perez uh, in the middle. I'm really anxious to watch what she does this year. She played some club over last winter. Um, and then Abby Cheney coming back in. She was a defensive specialist for us last year. Um, maybe looking into seeing if we can't elevate her into the libero role and, and uh, see how she can really lead us. So um, got a lot of, lot of seniors coming, coming back. So a lot of experience. Um, and then I think that the rest of the girls are just going to kind of start to come along and um, continue to develop. So. Well, I'm going to say this. I'm sure the tradition will continue. Good luck to you. We'll be following you throughout the course of the season, uh, as we always do. And uh, best of luck to you. Thank you very much, and, and thank you to the sponsors that make it possible. All right, folks. Shannon Foster, the head coach of the Thunderhawks, brought to you in part by the many sponsors throughout the uh, Wheatland-Grinnell area and Farm Credit of Western Kansas, Colby Community College. Thanks for watching.